Hey everyone, today I'm going to be setting up a school classroom setup and I'm also going to be organizing and styling these messy lockers as well. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to notify every time I upload a new video. So let's go ahead and start off by setting up the miniature classroom first.
So now that we've set up the miniature classroom, let's go ahead and organize and style these messy lockers. As you can see, they're quite unorganized and clean. There's a lot of different accessories and items inside the locker, so we're going to completely organize them and style them. And in case if you're wondering, the green locker belongs to Ginger and the blue locker belongs to Blair. So let's go ahead and clean out the top compartment here. We're going to be sorting out Ginger's locker first. So it seems like there are a lot of different small pieces here, so let's get right into it. First off, we have a fidget cube. It's so cool, it's such a bright green color and it matches her locker too. And then we also have a watch. I'm not sure why her watch is in here, but it's bright pink and it's perfect for sports or anything like that. Let's go ahead and see what's here. It seems like there are a lot of snacks in here, but I'm not sure how long they've been in the locker, so they'll probably have to go in the bin. So. There is a lotion bottle. That's not a snack, but it looks like it's coconut scented. There's Tim Tam. Comment down below if you've ever tried Tim Tams before. They're so delicious. They're chocolate flavored biscuits. It's really hard to explain, but they're just really yummy. We also have some yogurt in here and it's strawberry flavored. And it looks like it's from the company Trevani. And then there's also a post-it note. It says, I love school in the front. It looks like it's unused, so she could probably keep it for the next school year. And there's two there, actually. There's another one here that says math homework. So hopefully she completed that. We also have a travel journal from what she used right at the start of the year. There's an Eiffel Tower. So that's definitely a great read. Something dropped, I'm not sure where it is. We'll probably find it later on. But let's see what else there is. We'll have to reach right at the back. We have some socks. That will definitely need to go in the washing machine. That's not the best to keep in your locker, so let's go ahead and move those out of the way. I'm not sure what's at the back. We'll have to bring it forward. So there's a mini globe that might have been for a geography class or something. She might have been doing a project. I'm not sure why that's in her locker, though. Let's see. There's also sunscreen or suntan cream. And there's chalk that might have been for recess or some sort of game that they were playing. I've seen these before. They're really pretty. I love the pastel colors. There's only a couple more items in here. There's actually one more item, and it's some crackers. They're called Sun Bites. Comment down below your favorite school treat you like to enjoy at school. I also found what dropped out of the locker. It fell right over here, and it is some dental floss. So let's go ahead and move that out of the way. It's really hard to decide whose locker is messier, Ginger or Blair's. So this one is Blair's locker, and we're going to be sorting out that top compartment. I feel like Ginger's was a little bit messier, but we'll have to wait and see. So let's take a look at the first item here. First off, we have some lip balm, which is an item that you can definitely bring to school if you'd like. There's also some pretzels. I'm not sure how long that's been in her locker. We also have some mosquito spray that might have been for camp or something. I'm not exactly sure. Let's see what else is inside. So there is a notebook right at the back that might have been for homework or any class pretty much. I love the stripes. It's so pretty. It's probably full of assignments. And then over here, there's a sharpener. That needs to go in her pencil case or pencil box. There's also a calculator too. That would be for maths and it's really pretty purple color. There's only a couple more items. I would definitely have to say Ginger's locker is a lot messier than Blair's. Over here, there's some chocolate milk. That might be pretty old. I'm not sure how long that's been in there for. And then we also have a tissue box. And it's got some really fun polka dots on it. And a school item here is a textbook. She'll probably need to return that to the library. And it's a science book. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's in Ginger's locker. So this compartment normally has gym bags or school bags, anything that's larger that wouldn't fit in the top compartment. So let's see what's there. First off, we have her laptop. That should be stored maybe in her bag rather than sitting out in her locker, but that's all right. We're going to go ahead and move that out of the way. It is such a pretty red color though, and I love the designs on the front. And then we also have her backpack too. We'll have to take a look and see what's in there. Let's go ahead and move it out of the locker. Let's go ahead and sort out this backpack here. It is such a pretty teal green color. I love it. It's from the cheer set from American Girl in case if you're wondering and it has infinity sign on the front and it says infinity over there too. There are a couple of books and folders sticking out here. So let's go ahead and see what's inside the backpack. We'll take a look at the front compartment first. And we have some Warheads, so it might have been a snack, and it says Extreme Sour. Comment down below if you like sour food. Personally, I don't really like it, so I haven't really had Warheads before. 
Up next, there's some Nutella. She might have brought some bread to school and she might have used it as a spread. I'm not exactly sure why that's in her backpack. And then there's also a card for bowling alley. She loves to go bowling, so she has that in her backpack in case she wants to go bowling after school. And let's take a look at the main compartment, which has all of her school items. So first off, there's a magazine and it says Petite Pastries. And this is so much fun because she can cook and she can learn about all the different desserts she can make, which is great. And then up next, there's a school folder. I'm not sure if it has work inside because it's the last day of school, of course. So let's go ahead and open it up. It's completely empty and I totally understand. Let's open up this. Let's see what else there is. There's a game of checkers, which would have been a lot of fun to play at lunchtime. There's also a notebook so she can write down her assignments she might have needed for a class. It's actually Tenny's. I love the design on the front, but I'm sure Tenny wouldn't mind if she used it for the school year. And then we have another school folder here. I'm not sure if there's anything in there. And there is still a lot of work. There's an empty homework schedule. I wonder why she didn't use that. And there's also some more work on the other side. And there are a couple of pens and pencils too. And let's see what's in Blair's locker. So we'll take a look at her electronic device. Let's take a look at that. It is a tablet and it has her assignments. That's why there aren't too many textbooks in their locker because they have a lot of their textbooks on their laptop and tablets, which is perfectly fine. I want to try and get this bag without having anything else fall. Let's see if that's possible. I think it's hooked on the top. There we go, we managed to get it out and I think this might be her games bag. I'm not going to open it up because there are a lot of little pieces. Let's take a look at the pencil box here. It is definitely very messy and it's open and all the pens are falling out everywhere. So let's try and grab it without everything falling out. We'll have to bring it up. I think this might be her math box. There's a lot of rulers and pens and everything like that. So we'll bring that up too. I think that might go in her other box. And it says, I love math on the front. So it has all of her math items. And then we have another sheet of paper. There's an assignment and she got an A plus. So that's really good. And as for the bottom of Ginger's locker, we have her gym bag. Let's see what's inside. So first off, it seems to be her pencil box. I'm not sure why that's in her gym bag. It should be in her school bag. We also have some swim items that looks like she went to swim class last. So first off, there are some really cute pink goggles. And then I'm not sure why there are floaties in here because she can definitely swim without them, but we'll go ahead and take those out too. So there's the first one. Maybe it was for a swim activity, I'm not exactly sure. And then we have the second one right here. It's quite hard to take out, isn't it? And then the next item is a energy bar. And that's really important to have at swim class or at sports. And then we also have a swim cat suit. So the only item that's missing here is her actual swimsuit. I'm not sure where that is. And then she also has a water bottle. And of course, we can't forget about Blair's school bag, which is right at the bottom of her locker. Let's just pull out this piece. It looks like it has a table of multiplication. So she's doing that at math. Hopefully she was able to learn all of those this year. And we'll just take out this item too. There is a necklace. That's really pretty. I'm pretty sure it's Pandora's and it's such a bright blue color. We'll have to see what else is in her backpack. Let's go ahead and take that out of her locker. And this backpack is perfect for school. I love it. It's called the Doodle Backpack. It looks like there are a lot of doodles at the front. What I really like about it too is that there are two large compartments. There's a large compartment at the front and there's also one at the back. So let's go ahead and see what's in the first compartment. I'm not sure if there's anything in there. Oh, there are a couple of pieces. So first off, there's some Mentos, so that's a great snack for her to enjoy. And then we also have some candy right at the bottom, and it is some extreme sour candy that's raspberry flavored. So first off, we have some of the smaller pieces at the front. Let's take a look at this piece. We have some gingerbread. So gingerbread would have been from the holiday season, and that was quite a while ago, so that probably is expired. We also have a deck of cards, which is a really fun game for her to play at recess or at lunch. Let's see what else there is. There should be a couple of school themed items here. So there is a book and we have an assignment notebook and that should be full of all of her assignments that she completed throughout the year. 
And it seems like there's a textbook inside. Let's see what there is. It is for science. And that's really great. She'll have to return that to the library too because she doesn't need it anymore. And then finally, there is a reading book right at the bottom and it is The Wizard of Oz. Comment down below if you've read the book or if you've seen the movie. So as you can see, both Ginger and Blair's lockers are completely organized and are now empty. So thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed it.